Hello, Unbreak Me here. Let's look at the Lagu Technic Telehandler set number 4133. This tiny little set came with more functionality than I expected. But first, let's start with the box. There is really nothing special here, but we do get a look at the B model. Let's open it up and see what's inside. We get two unnumbered bags as well as the instructions and no sticker sheet. Here is the parts list for the set. The building process begins with the steering, definitely a nice feature to get in a $13 set. Next, we build the following beam structure along with a warm gear setup. It'll be responsible for raising the boom. We simply connect it to the steering module, expanding the chassis. Here comes a very interesting part. We connect the steering to the hand of God axle with a beam. The steering setup uses zero gears, but it is done in such a clever way. We attach the boom lift arm to the chassis and we connect it to the warm gear setup with a few beams. Now you can clearly see exactly how the raising and lowering mechanism works. We build the following fork module and simply connect it to the boom. Now we attach the wheels and we put the little cargo on top. We can now take a look at the functions of the model. The first function is of course the hand of God steering, which works pretty nicely. Next, we get boom elevation, which works by simply rotating the gear at the back. The third function is actually fork articulation, which was definitely unexpected. If you love LEGO Technic as much as I do, and you would like to get my review of the John Deere tractor, which is coming out tomorrow, then make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. I would like to emphasize just how well the steering actually works. This is a very impressive mechanism for such a small set and it works absolutely beautifully. Let's compare the set to the Mini Telehandler from 2010. They both get boom elevation as well as the exact same cargo piece. The new one is definitely an upgrade though since the older Telehandler does not have steering of any kind nor does it have fork articulation. For a Technic set, the older Telehandler looks much better in terms of the aesthetics. You immediately get that feeling that it's a construction machine. The new telehandler though looks nothing like a Technic set. I'm not saying it looks bad, I actually appreciate the aesthetic of the new one. I'm just saying that the new telehandler looks a lot more like a Lego Mindstorm set rather than a Technic set. I will definitely be making a Mindstorms mock of the telehandler, so stay tuned for that. The telehandler is certainly a good set for only $13, but it does not have many appealing qualities for older fans of Technic. There aren't many unique pieces included, nor is it that special. The tiny motorcycle we got in January retailed for the exact same price, but we got a working engine in that set along with more interesting building techniques. The telehandler is a good set, is just not as impressive as the tiny motorcycle. I also want to give a massive shout out to Ethan Bates26 on Instagram for sending me this set early, so thank you very much. This is your Unbreaking here and I'll see you in the next one.